We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there, but we'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine, Turtle Dove over the Heath, hangs in the Ducal Palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that. He merely copies the works of his betters. And poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachua. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack and a thief. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And, uh, nothing you could use instead? My word! Would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like an animal? Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything. Set it out. Ordered and organized. Hmm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine. I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art. And not vice versa. Right you are, Fingal. Take Baron de Cordell. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. He actually had a major logic after he saw that the Red Garage play. And now he's begun courting. Footprints. Clear, but curiously small.
Found your things. Splendid. Where were they? And... Is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. Ugh, impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Mm. Better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive, with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. Get up. Come on. This the place? Yes. Just look at the view. Breathtaking. The perfect background for our masterpiece. Hmm. Pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? Maybe I could just stand, sword in hand? Ah! Splendid! A heroic pose, of course! The bold warrior, his sword held aloft, ready to run at the, well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. Shall I begin? Or would you prefer to adopt another pose? Let me try something else. I think I'll lie down. At least that way I can nap while you work. The hero at rest, lying on his side, propped up on an elbow, staring into the distance, relishing a victory. I can paint in a griffin corpse later. Though, naturally, a nap is out of the question. We resolved that earlier. May I begin? Or would you prefer to strike a more dynamic pose? Let me try something else. How about I be on horseback? I mean, Roach kind of deserves to be immortalized too. Oh yes, a horse! Exceptional idea! But I would rather you perch atop Alexander, my mount. I've trained him to pose. I shall paint in the carcass of a slain griffin later. Now, 
Raise your head to exude pride. Thrust your breast forward. Go on, breast forward. I want to see those hooks extended. Ahem. Is the horse paying attention? May I begin? Or would you rather try a different pose? Go ahead. Now, if you wouldn't mind, that look you gave me when I first asked you to pose, would you be so kind as to adopt it again? That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. This going to take much longer? Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! <laughs> run! Dearest mummy! No wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death! Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm. Interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Uh, for posterity. Let's go!
That's it, Roach. Get up. The guard brings peace to our domains. Float its writ and rot in chains. So the witches eat their cheese before dessert or after? Thank you. 
Ah. Oh. The guard brings peace to. Damn it! Watch where you step, fool. Ooh. Damn it! Watch where you step, fool. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights want of the roads protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats. Come see me. You shall be rewarded. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing order that any knight may receive a wage, <coughs> pardon me, financial compensation for his dedication to defending the Duchy's internal security and order. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night.
where are you skittering off to? Greetings. Geralt! There you are! So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell! <laughs> Imagination. Don't recall in dressing before posing, though. Some of the other details are a bit off, too. Well, the imagination is an artist's chief, too. Heard the same from a certain poet. He embellishes and invents chiefly. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. Huh. As special as it is, that's still quite a price. Afraid I don't have that much coin. Not a problem. Come back when you do. Though I cannot guarantee someone won't have beaten me to it. Witcher, greetings. I've been on pins and needles. I take it you've come for the painting. Why not? It'll make an interesting memento. Though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed. You have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm, all right. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. Thanks. Come on, good folk. Come with me. 